Welcome to Insight. Today we are chatting with Chris Dagelmeyer, Chief Executive Officer of the Tides Foundation. Chris has generously agreed to share some of her experience with us. I'd like to thank you, Chris, for joining us today. Great, thank you. So the Tides Foundation is a very interesting organization. It really has taken its, it, its lead from a, from a philosophical standpoint of both being an operating uh, foundation that strengthens nonprofits as well as a grant-making organization. Sure. Talk about the Tides Foundation, its genesis, its philosophy, and its contribution to the sector. Right. So you're, you're absolutely right. I think it's a unique jewel um, in, in the sector. And, and what we focus on, I'll talk about where, where we're going, is to accelerate the pace of social change, working with innovative partners for a world of shared prosperity and social justice. So as most public charities have kind of a broader mandate of all philanthropy is good, we have a point of view that is very specific around shared prosperity and social justice. And so believing in climate change, believing in equality and human rights, believing in equality of education for all, and you know, moving that needle forward is Tide's role and goal So as a public charity. And we work globally as well as nationally. The organization you know, has an illustrious past of you know, 40 years of being one of the first to say, can you be a public charity and have a point of view? Um, and then how do you move the needle on that? And so over time, what's been interesting is we have added tools to complement that charity. Uh, so I think as you, you, we're, we're fond of trying to remind those that we work with, like we're at this epicenter of both funders and the change makers. Uh, so we don't just sit in the funding. Our lines of work that we do is we incubate and provide backbone services and, and sponsorships for nonprofits. So there's 160 organization and you know that has housed in 32 states in the U.S. that every day we're working, you know, to fix those problems. So there's that, that piece. On the grant making side, we work with corporations, we work with individuals, we work with you know, traditional foundations, family foundations, so we get to see that unique, you know, everyone's unique take on how they drive philanthropy. Um, we also do shared collaborative space. So we've got 150,000 square feet of shared space in, in the Presidio. And the last piece that's important within kind of the, the Tides Network and Tides Family is we have a separate 501c4. Uh, so what we learn, so we constantly adapted as an organization you know, to what are the tools you need to be the most effective to drive, you know, that mission and strategy. So we do policy and advocacy work with a 501c42. So not only is it, you know, mission driven, um, it's a multiple tool type of entity that, you know, we can figure out what needs to be done if there's a change you want to make. One of the things that I think is so interesting is starting off with this idea is we believe in Mm -hmm. in climate change. We believe in, and, and the way you express it, the whole idea of believe in, what is, why do you believe in these things? I think it's twofold. Um, one is, do you believe in basic human rights, right? So, so there's a values-based issue. Yes, yes, there's a values-based issue, but it's also supported by science in some of these cases. And so there's an evidence-based issue. And it's evidence, so, so, so it's, how do you it's human marry? Values, on the one hand, and evidence on the other. Exactly, exactly. So you've got to really, so if the science came out and said climate change you know, isn't real, then we would be having a different you believe, conversation. You believe in something yes. else because the evidence is different. Correct. I think the, the, the combination of the values piece as well as the evidence piece is, is, is really compelling. It's, it's the idea of how do you change your opinion? Mm -hmm. And then how do you shape programs that are in alignment with that, that system of analysis. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and I think, you know, one of the things Tides um, is known for kind of, you know, within in the field is taking risk. Um, and as, as, you know, big supporters we are of marriage equality, and people are like, how did it happen so fast? I'm like, Tides has been funding LGBT issues for 25 years. Um, so before issues kind of come to the forefront, um, Tides is willing to take those risks to, you know, invest, again, both on the grant-making side, the individual side, when HIV and AIDS was, you know, a huge challenge and the idea of needle exchange came about and nobody was really going to touch that. But again, then the evidence comes out and supports it. 
Um, and then there's, you know, other instances where, you know, innovations and risk taking comes out and the evidence comes out and doesn't support it and then you need to change, change your path. So what kind of services do you provide to your clients? Yeah, so it, it depends on kind of who, who the client is. And so on the grant making side, you know, it, there's a range of, of services that they can provide from helping, you know, facilitate um, their existing grant making ideas. And so some people come to us and have an idea of where they want to give. Sometimes it's more complex. That's usually why they come to us. There's something unique um, that they want to do that we're, you know, uh, we have a very uh, confident and strong legal department that, that can figure these things out. We do consultative work with our clients because um, they come in different uh, manners of not knowing what they want to do. And so we're able to leverage our existing network and our existing So these, these are philanthropic investors. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's on the consultant. And then in some, we co-develop with our partners too. And so we have a history of that. On the backbone side with, you know, the center where we're incubating, Again, they'll come to us oftentimes with an idea, sometimes an existing And these are organization. organizations yes. or, or individuals who have an idea to build an organization. An organization, correct. So on the one hand, your clients are the philanthropic yes. investors, and you're trying to figure Help out- Help accelerate their work. And, and the legal framework, the, the concepts, the standards. Well, and again, I think there's the bigger piece why they also come to tides is the consultative work. You know, it's the advising that happens. It's, we've been funding, again, in human rights for 40 years, and so we're able to pull that knowledge and expertise into helping them think about their philanthropy. How are you funded? So we're funded through client fees, um, almost, you know, in, in the high 90% range. Um, in certain cases, we'll do, you know, some fundraising on specific issues. But whether it's our clients that we're working with on the grant making side, it's fee based. On the center side, it's fee based. On the advocacy side, it, it, it's fee based. So we've got to be providing that value towards acceleration. So it's it, it really is. Although you are a nonprofit, this really is in the guise of of earned revenue. You are yes. providing services. You're providing yeah. consulting. You're providing. Um, uh, infrastructure, infrastructure, and you're backbone, paid for that. management services. Yes, and yes. you function as a business. From from yeah, it's from an operation side, we function in earned income. Yes, and and in terms of when you when you hire your people, you're also looking at some very conventional metrics. You want people who are effective, who are going to use the money that you are spending on your infrastructure, on your people, uh, very wisely. How do you hire? How do you, when you're looking at somebody and you're thinking about bringing them in, it is not enough to be well-intentioned. It's not enough to be uh, tied into the nonprofit sphere. What are those other ingredients that are important for Tides specifically? Yeah, so, so one thing, as we talked about, you know, Tides, you know, mission to accelerate the pace of social change. One of the things when I came on um, in 2014 um, as the new CEO, we focused on, that. that's a new um, vision statement for us, but one of the things that we added to was our vision, mission, and approach and our, our approach is based on crossing boundaries that link sectors, communities, and cultures, acting with empathy and respect, engaging with those whose lives are affected, embracing risk, and prioritizing ideas that can scale. And, and why I say that is that whether you're coming on our board, whether you're coming on staff, we are diligent about aligning fit for the vision, mission, and approach. And so it kind of gets back to we're not you know, traditional service provider. We are, and, and we believe to get to that world of shared prosperity and social justice, business needs to be engaged, government needs to be engaged, and civil society needs to be engaged. So what we're really looking for are those boundary crossers um, that think more at a systems level and an interconnection level. Uh, the second P, you know, and so there's a certain skill set and a desire that comes with that. Secondly, around empathy and respect, it is very easy to have empathy and respect for somebody like you. But when we're crossing boundaries and taking these struggling issues, you know, how do you bring that to the forefront? Engaging with those whose lives are affected, do you have a belief that 
they know what's best for them. It's not, you know, the top down. And, you know, so risk taking is also um, one of the criteria when we're looking for people to bring it on. And I think then back to the, the last point, prioritizing ideas that can scale, does take a little bit more of that metrics and, you know, what would often be seen as that, you know, business acumen. So you've got to screen across our vision, mission, and approach of how we're looking at people. Uh, and it's, I'm, I'm a big believer that all jobs are about fit. Chris Dagemeyer, thank you very much for sharing with us the vision for Tides for the future, and thank you so much for your insights. And thank you for just, you know, continuing to push the field forward. It's really, it's an honor to be here. Thanks. Thank